city control, uh, mainly with the FPC channel in, in Fruity Loops. And uh, you're going to have to have some type of MIDI interface just so you can connect the MPC with the, uh, the computer. I use the MIDI Sport. Um, so basically whatever you use, you just want to make sure the MIDI connections are connected, both of them. Um, and that will just allow the computer to communicate with the MPC. Um, next thing you want to do is you got to go to the, the options menu, which is F10 in FS Studio and um, then you'll just see there it is the MIDI sport um, you just want to make sure everything's enabled and if you already have a MIDI controller set up you know you might be familiar with this um, up here I always send the master syncs to all the ports uh, just in case then you'll just close that out um, then next you'll just come up here um, just a basic way to open up the FPC channels add one then you just come down here to the FPC. Okay. Um, basically, it just looks like that. Um, looks very familiar to the MPC. Next, you'll just come down here to the MPC, and most of the main screens always look like this. You'll just come over here to your MIDI option, and you'll just put it on one. Um, and then basically, it controls the FPC. Um, one problem I ran into is sometimes a latency. Uh, if you hit the pad, it doesn't sync up exactly right and it, there's a delay. So you want to come up here to your options again and you'll come down to audio options. And basically, you'll just change this to um, SEO for all. But I use a Lambda driver, so I always use this one. But uh, most of you probably will use this ASIO for all driver and um, that's just going to kind of fix that problem because when you're trying to sequence with it later um, you'll run into that problem where you know it's not matching up right because it's not the sounds not going off right when you hit the pad um, another thing if you're going to be chopping samples and putting samples into the pads um, that are longer than one shots this is something that took me a second um, you actually have to come over here for each pad you just click the pad and then come over here and make sure it's cut one by one and you just move that up to one and that will make sure that when you hit the pad and you switch to another pad that the sample that you first hit won't play all the way through and so it will allow you to make melodies and things like that when you sequence and you can um, you know drag and drop all your samples from the browser right over here and it's just really easy that's the main reason why I use it is because I have access quickly to all my sounds um, a whole lot quicker than what it would be to the MPC and I can still use my pads and still sequence on FL Studio um, so that means everything's already in FL Studio and I can start adding effects and things like that so um, I hope it helps and if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment and I'll try to get back with